Welcome to Real Estate Investment Management Brokerage Development, LLC. Installing a grounding wire onto grounding rods from a 400 amp um, electrical panel. Uh, <coughs> this is an owner build, so we're allowed to do this electric ourselves. This is what we did. Um, we put on this mounting for uh, the electrical uh, grounding wire. Now we had to learn that different panels, depending upon their size, require different gauges or thicknesses of wire. Um, this is a 400 amp panel, so it requires a three wire and the numbers are, or greater. So the numbers are reversed. So if we have a number two wire, which we do here, it's a thicker uh, wire, uh, more rigorous. So we could use that for our 400 amp panel. Um, Notice there's a, this is called a lug. We unscrew two of these screws and then we put in this lug, which allows uh, the wire, the thick number two wire to be received. Okay, and then the wire goes here. We also have some trim here. You can imagine if electrical current went down here um, the electrical current would go in this uh, aluminum flashing here and the electrical charge would go there. So we don't want that. So we put some rubber um, covering over just in this section. Uh, they want this wire to be bare, I guess, as much as possible. Um, we had to make an accommodation for that. And then the electrical uh, wire, number two wire, goes into three grounding rods. Um, this one is seven feet uh, in there, and this one is six feet. Uh, notice the electrical number two, or the copper number two wire is connected to the grounding rod with, uh, people nickname it an acorn uh, clamp, and then it goes right here. The third grounding rod, so I think uh, we have two grounding rods greater than seven feet, and one is six feet, seven, seven, fourteen, plus six, uh, about 20. 22. So, see the number two, bare copper cable going to the three grounding rods. Now, why is this important? Uh, That's a big question. Um, let me show you. There's 400 amps of electricity going in this house. Uh, that's a lot. Look at these electrical wires. It's gonna carry that load. So you can imagine if something went haywire, or there was an electrical short circuit, um, you could be in big trouble if you didn't have the proper grounding. So this is a grounding, uh, a 400 amp panel with a number two wire with uh, three grounding rods and cable between it. We hope this gives you ideas on how to safely ground a 400 amp panel. Thank you.